Okay, hey guys, what's going on? It's been a while since I've actually recorded a video in my office, but today we're going to be doing another reaction video. And thankfully, I'm getting one of these videos done before I head over to AWA tomorrow. Because, um, yeah, I, I only scheduled enough videos for this week. And I got nothing else for next week. So, you are going to be going out next week. So, whenever you guys are seeing this, AWA was last week. So, sorry. But, hopefully those videos will come out fairly quickly. And, uh, yeah. So anyways, we're going to be looking at top 10 best siblings in anime from Anime America. And just judging by the uh, thumbnail, it has Rin and Yuki Okumura from Blue Exorcist. And I, I don't know where I'm going with this, so I do apologize. But enough of my bullshit, let's get started on the video. And that did not work. This video has been sponsored by the Dollar Shave Club. Never mind. On top of the line razors for a buck? Stay tuned to find out how. each other over petty things that only make your parents face palm. What? 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 Recording a video. Man, if you ever watch this video, fuck you for that. <laughs> so, let's get back to it. Every day, whether it be with your actual blood relatives or someone you've adopted along the way, a sibling's bond is very unique in many ways. Even in anime, we're treated to a whole bunch of special relationships between a wide variety of siblings that we felt needed to be highlighted today. Whether it be blood-related or not, does this mean you're going to highlight non-related siblings on this list? Yeah, I feel the need to do it for this list. But you didn't do that for the parents' list. Why make an exception now? Well... Oh, 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 oh. Let's just say the topic is relatable. And yes, we are considering a list highlighting other types <clears throat> of parents if any of you are interested. Oh man, that looked like a heartbreaking flashback. Eh, yeah, a mind reader! Ah! This is Top 10 Best Siblings in Anime. Perfect. Matt and TK, or Yamato and Takeru, Ishida, from Digimon. After their parents' rather messy divorce, these two boys don't really see much of each other until they're reunited at summer camp and taken to the digital world with the rest of the group. During that time, Matt and TK become closer than they'd ever been before. Normally very overprotective, Matt learns to trust his brother and see how strong TK really is TK, on the other hand, learns to find his own identity and that he doesn't have to rely on his brother for everything. We even see their relationship continue to grow in the next season. The two continue to support each other even though Matt is in a band and TK is part of the new team of Digidestin. It's a perfect example of distance bringing siblings closer together. Number 9 Seto and Mokuba Kaiba from yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, no Mokuba. one really expected the priority set for this rich brat. Yes, he wants to be the best at monsters, and he wants to defeat Yugi in a match one day. But all of it is put aside when his brother's <coughs> life is in jeopardy. From that point, Seto sacrifices his pride and reputation, and even pulls some dirty tricks, just to get to his brother. This shows a deeper dynamic to this classic rival, as he shows devotion to the people he truly cares for. But it also shows what an impressive relationship these two brothers have. Mokuba is extremely loyal to his brother, as he will not only do what he can to defend his honor, but also looks up to him every Ever since they were abandoned by their relatives in an orphanage shortly after their parents' death. These two will stand for each other and even fight for each other because they never want to be apart ever again. Yeah. Number 8. Hikaru and Kaoru Hitachin from Oron High School Host Club. God, yes, Hikaru everyone's favorite twins had to make it on this list. And why not? From the get-go, their relationship is extremely close, and they use that as their shtick in the host club. They even talk at the same time, but not in the creepy, shining twins kind of way. Come play with us, Daddy. 
However, their relationship isn't an act. Hikaru and Kaoru really do care deeply for each other, even to the point where they don't allow themselves to get close to anyone. They even make jokes about the fact that no one has been able to tell them apart. This doesn't last though, because Haruhi starts to notice the subtle differences between the two of them, <laughs> and Kaoru soon sees that their relationship is never going to be the same. Not to mention the fact that Kaoru is actually really supportive of the fact that Hikaru is curious about pursuing a relationship with Haruhi. It's a perfect example of siblings understanding when they're their lives are heading in a different direction, especially for twins. But their relationship isn't diminished just because they've started embracing their differences. If anything, it brings them closer together and they see each other for their own person I really rather than just being again. a twin. Though it might put a damper on their guessing game. This one's Kaoru. This one's Hikaru. Uh-oh, you, you got, got it wrong! No, I know I'm right. Number seven. Sakura and Toya Kitamoto from Car Captor Sakura. While Toya can be a bit protective over his little sister ever since their mother passed away, he's still 100% supportive over everything she does. He may pretend not to know her secret, but he knows. Big brothers know everything. He also has a rule where he feels he's the only man not who true. could ever tease her and gets sister. upset at Sharon whenever he and Sakura are caught fighting. He doesn't want to see his sister in pain and he'll do whatever he can to help her grow and succeed. Toya is an outstanding brother Sakura is lucky to have, which is shown better in the original dub compared to the botched up dubbing that happened in the 90s. But seriously, watch the show in the original format to truly experience Car Captor Sakura. And not just to see this sibling dynamic at its full potential, but also for other reasons. Oh, they were perfect for each other. Number six. Ryuko Matoi and Satsuki Kyurian from Kill la Kill. Who knew an epic Still tale of vengeance and tragedy could escalate into one of the best sibling relationships ever portrayed in anime? Ryuko is on a mission to find the one who killed her father, which leads her to meet her rival and obstacle, Satsuki. Both hated each other and fought ruthlessly against the other, but it's all put aside when they discover that they're not only sisters, but their mother is responsible for everything that has happened. From her father's death to the plan of world domination, Ragyo uses both of her daughters in an attempt to get what she wants, and the two of them join together in an epic battle to stop her. From that moment onwards, they became the family that both of them needed, okay, and then. their bond as sisters became unbreakable. Well, number five. The Paper Sisters from Read or Die. Though they're not blood related, the Paper Sisters, Maggie, Michelle, and Anita, have one of the biggest bonds ever produced in anime. <laughs> At first, we're led to believe that they met each other on Christmas Eve and decided to adopt each other as sisters from that day forward. But then, as the show comes to an end, we find out that their memories have been fabricated. All three of them were subjected to experiments in order to give them paper abilities just like the series main star, Yomiko Reedman. And then they were implemented memories that convinced them to meet each other on that day to form a team. Knowing that the relationship was built from lies, does this diminish their relationship? I believe in who I am. And I believe in what we've shared together. And in everything we have. I want to be an older sister again. Even when knowing the truth about their past, they won't allow it to affect their future and their bond with each other. They're sisters to the very end and will always fight for each other. Number 4 Liz and Patty Thompson from Soul Eater. Uh, These two Liz loving, carefree sisters have had it pretty rough. They were abandoned by their mother and essentially decided to say, screw the world, we do things our way. As the older sister, Liz's priority is always Patty and how to protect her, whereas Patty wants nothing more than to be with her sister. Liz would even go as far as to mug people just to make sure the girls could get some money so they could eat. And Patty was more than happy to help her sister out by being the gun she used for mugging. One of the main reasons that Liz decides to give up the life of crime and stay with Kid is because he gives Patty the first real laugh that Liz has seen her have in quite a while. It's this relationship with Kid 
that allows the girls to act more like themselves as opposed to being the harsh, selfish people they had to be to survive on the streets. <laughs> it's interesting to see these two already close sisters get even closer with just a little outside help. Number three. Ace and Luffy from One Piece. Yes. Even before we got a deep yes. backstory on these two, you could tell these two were close the moment they met in Alabasta. Ace was the older brother in Luffy's childlike presence, which felt adorable due to how different yet similar they were. Sure, Ace was more polite and cool in contrast to Luffy's rude and bouncy nature, but what made Ace stand out was his little quirks that made him feel like Luffy's biological brother. It could have been easy to just make him a badass with fire, but added on his narcolepsy, eaten running, and some goofy fun loving moments really gave him that little Luffy essence to give these brothers familiarity. Though back then we assumed Luffy needed Ace in his life, what really made these brothers shine was the truth of the matter. When we learn how Ace was before they became brothers, we start to understand that not only did Luffy need Ace as the big brother, but Ace needed Luffy as the little brother. Ace had a hard time growing up and he needed the silly optimistic Luffy to be able to see the light in the dark times. So yes, they may not be biological, but they were a family that needed <laughs> each other in a world that didn't want them. Yeah. Number two. Rin and Yukio Okuma yes, from Rin Blue Yuki. Exorcist. Yet another dynamic twin duo to make the list. However, unlike our previous entry, these two couldn't be more different. Yeah. Yukio was once a boy who was terrified of demons, but decided he wanted to get stronger to protect the people that he cared about. Rin, on the other hand, yeah, shut up! <laughs> is a little bit of a hothead. Yukio dedicates That's himself to the order and quickly becomes a high-ranking exorcist despite his age, while Rin struggles to get those around him to trust him because he is the son of Satan which is another thing that separates these two. Yukio shows no signs of having Satan's power in him, which drives another wedge between him and Rin. They both seem to have very little in common, with Yukio constantly telling Rin that he needs to keep cool, and Rin telling Yukio that he doesn't understand how hard he has it. And yet, these two would do anything for each other. Yukio goes out of his way to tutor Rin, Rin brings a new perspective to cases that Yukio would never have thought of, but most importantly, these two always fight for each other. When push comes to shove, they're family and they would die to protect each other. While this may be one of the roughest relationships on the list, that just makes it feel even more real. These two are brothers through and through, and at the end of the day, that's what matters most. <laughs> Before we move forward, here are some honorable mentions. Relationship in anime there? is. I had one goal in mind for this list, which was to find a relationship stronger than these two. As hard as I tried, there was no was other like, group that is. could top how amazing these two really are. It may be obvious, and everyone's already predicted it, but there's no denying that these two reign supreme. 
Edward and Alphonse Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. Yes. Two brothers changed Edward their entire Alphonse. lives forever. The very moment they made a gruesome mistake. Oh. Through alchemy, they tried to revive their deceased mother, only to pay a hefty price for it. Mm -hmm. Edward lost two of his appendages, and Alphonse lost his entire body. In order to not lose him, Edward was able to tie his brother's soul to a giant suit of armor. A temporary fix until they could figure out how to get his body back in time. From that moment forward, they set out on a quest <laughs> to find the Philosopher's Stone while strengthening their skills to restore everything they've lost. Through hardships, scars, and loss, the boys had to survive several trials in order to get what they need. During the final battle against Father, Alphonse sacrifices himself in order to restore Edward's arm, sending him back to the other side where his body was. Edward discovers he has a power to get him back though but he has to make an equal trade worthy enough to do it. That very element he was willing to give up in order to get Alphonse back ended up being his alchemy. The very craft he spent his entire life crafting and mastering would no longer be his, but he was willing to give it up for Alphonse, and it worked. What else can we say? Their <laughs> bond is unbreakable, and the sacrifices they make for each other are astounding. They journeyed across the world and back in order to restore what they had lost, and are now spending their days in peace because of it all. For their incredible strength and willingness to sacrifice whatever it takes for each other, Edward and Alphonse yeah, Elric have Australian. unquestionably, and obviously, the best silly so relationship in again. anime. Well, that wraps up our list, and though I may not have a good relationship with my own sibling, it makes me appreciate the ones who choose to stay in my life. Whether you have a blood-related sibling or not, do your best to be there for them and appreciate every day you have with them. To my real siblings out there, know that I love you and appreciate everything you do for me. Even you, Hannah. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm going all mushy over this, <laughs> but you've done a lot for me recently and for our channel, so I just want to say thanks, sis. Wow, I don't know what to say. I really don't feel like I deserve to have that kind of compliment, but I have to agree. We've been spending so much time working on the channel that I've started talking to you more than I ever have, and I have to say that this is definitely a relationship I just that phone I treasure me. and that I'm very happy to have in my life. You've been there for me through a lot, you know, outside of the channel and stressing about how I can help make deadlines in my crazy life and you've been <laughs> so patient and understanding that I have to say thank you sis and you're right this is getting mushy be sure to leave us a comment down below featuring your favorite anime siblings see you all next time once again, this video was sponsored by the Dollar Shave uh, Club, and they have an awesome deal just for you guys. If you guys did enjoy it, hit that like button down there. Dollar comment if you guys have any more videos on your reaction. Razor. Pause that. And as always, subscribe if you guys do not subscribe for more of these videos here on my channel. And until next time, I will see you guys later.